So this past week has really been the first week where it started to feel like spring here in Belgium. And because of this, I started to think about my spring wardrobe again. I wanted to change out my clothes from the winter stuff because I was done with winter travel and I'm looking forward to a lot of the spring trips that are coming up this year. And I decided that I really didn't like my clothes anymore. So I wanted to change it up and completely revamp my spring wardrobe. And I wanted to focus a little bit more on creating a capsule wardrobe or at least create some colors that I really enjoy. So the first thing that I did was I started going through my closet and taking out all the clothes that I didn't love anymore. There's quite a few of them that I just simply don't wear anymore because either the colors, I don't like them as much anymore or I don't really have any other pieces that go with it. So I decided to just take out all of those clothes out of my closet and put them on Vinted, which is linked in the description down below. But yeah, so I'm still working through that. And then I decided that I needed to find a color palette that I really liked that I wanted to continue building on. So I went through my clothes again and I tried to find a few key pieces that I actually did love on which I could then build my color palette that I was going to use as inspiration whenever I was going shopping. And after doing all of that, I came up with six pieces that I really liked from my closet from previous years on which I thought that I could really build a nice colorful palette. These are the six pieces that I found that I wanted to base my color palette on and then I also went to Pinterest for a little bit, browsed the internet and I came up with four main colors which are cream, white, light yellow and light green and then I also wanted to add like jeans so like not necessarily a lot of blue but more jean colors so whenever I was looking for anything I would also incorporate jeans in it. And so with those clothes in mind, it was time to go shopping. Some of my favorite shops are H&M, Costas, Vera Moda, Mango, and I also like shopping just online on Zalando and ASOS. I like going to these stores because for my mid-sized body, I find a lot of clothes that fit me well there. I'm usually like a size large or extra large, and I also am 5'11", which means I'm quite tall. So I like that the clothes at these stores are usually a lot longer. Stores like Zara or Bershka usually just don't fit me that well because they're made for a smaller petite body. Whereas the clothing at H&M or Costas or any of the other stores that I just mentioned, they usually have clothes that are made for a little bit larger bodies or also just taller people like I am, which I really enjoy. So those stores are kind of my ride or die. And so when I was in a store, these are some things that I noticed after doing this little process that I was just explaining before. And that was that I found it so much easier to know what I was looking for. Not only only did I have specific colors and just types of clothes in mind already from going through my clothes and deciding which items I didn't love anymore and which kind of items I needed but also just it was so much easier to scan through a store because Whenever I saw something cute, I immediately thought, does this go with the color palette or not? And whenever it didn't, I had no issues putting the clothes back rather than just purchasing them and then never end up wearing them because I don't know how to style them. Whereas now I could just find all these pieces and be like, yeah, that totally works with the clothes that I was trying to get so I'm really happy with my finds so I wanted to share those with you as well. Now the first one, sorry this is a little bit wrinkly because I already wore it once, um, but it is this like button down from H&M. I got it in a size large and it is a little bit oversized which I really like but it's also this light material which makes it super easy to wear on a warmer day if you want to wear like a tank top underneath this and you just want to use this as like a layering piece so yeah I totally love this. Then the next piece that I got is this really light green sports top so I did want to purchase some sporting outfits as well. I wasn't able to find a lot in the color scheme but this was one that I really like that is in the color that I was going for. How I could wear this if I'm going like on a little hike, but also just in general I think this is still quite cute to wear like as an leisure piece So I thought I would throw this one in the haul as well Then with the next piece I kind of went away from the color palette But because it's black I thought it would still fit in with most of the clothes and it is this like really nice flowers uh, long sleeve shirt. I also got this in a large. Yeah, I really like it because it does feel like springy but it still has long sleeves and with their weather in Belgium sometimes it can still be a little bit chilly so I like having some pieces that have long sleeves as well. Then the next piece that I got is a little bit more springy already um, and it's also this flower type of shirt and it is short sleeve and it also has these ruches which I think is a really nice detail. 
um, and it also has this little tie in the back which I thought was really cute and I got this one in an extra large. Then another piece that I got from H&M is this uh, ripped yellow shirt. So this is definitely a little bit more summery than spring. I don't think I can wear this in Belgium right now yet. But if I was wearing like maybe not this one with the yellow button down but I also have like a white button down in my closet so I could wear it like with that and then have this underneath which I think would be really cute as well but yeah I also got this in an extra large um, just because it's then a little bit longer as well which I like it's not super cropped I don't mind having like a little bit of a belly showing but I didn't want it to be like all the way down and then I was also able to find this a little bit more cropped green top which I really like it has these really thin straps so it's definitely a lot more summery than most of the pieces that I got but I still really like it because I think it has like the perfect color scheme that fits with all the other clothes that I got and I also got this in an extra large so that it wouldn't be too cropped and I still would feel comfortable in it and then the last piece that I got at H&M are these jeans so they're just your standard jeans but on one side it has like a rip in the knee I will show just the picture where I'm wearing these because it's really difficult to show these jeans but yeah I really like the color of the denim which is definitely the reason that I purchased them I have a similar pair from last year as well well that I really like but it's just a little bit lighter which I think is nice but I prefer this little bit darker wash as well and yeah those were all the things that I got at H&M I also ordered one thing online which I really liked and it's this yellow sweater so sometimes like I was saying the weather in Belgium can be totally different like some of the days it's only 11 degrees whereas other days it's going to be like 20 25 in the spring so it can be so different so I wanted to get like a little bit more of a vibrant uh, sweater like this one and this one is from Mango I think yeah and I got it in a size extra large I really like it because it has like these special sleeves now it's a little bit difficult to see here but I will again put in some try on clips at the end so you guys can see what that looks like but I think it would be a really nice sweater to wear and yeah those were all the pieces that I ended up finding what I love about a capsule wardrobe is the color scheme aspect of it uh, and I try to limit the amount of pieces that I purchase each year as well but yeah by reusing some of my older clothes I ended up having quite a lot of items in here so it's definitely not a minimalist video but yeah I just really like that I can pick from the same like 15 to 20 pieces that I know can be my staples and then adding some other clothes that I already owned into that whenever I'm traveling because rewearing clothes in a different way or with different pants can immediately add extra outfits whenever you're traveling which is so useful and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more fashion videos make sure to leave a comment down below and also make sure to subscribe if you want to learn how you can start saving preparing and planning for your next adventure I will see you next time